Hey lovelies, it's Bonnie. Just coming to you with this tutorial. This is a request video, trying to get my request videos out the way. Um, this is just my setup for my client that is coming. Um, she wanted some pictures on her nails, so I have those all set up in different sizes so I can figure which one will go on her nails. I have her tips laid out. I have my, you know, my buffer, the file, the um, cuticle pusher, paper towels, the lint-free wipes, the glue. Um, cuticle stone, cuticle nipper, fingernail clipper, my brush, and my dabbing dish. Everything else I keep over here just in, you know, so it doesn't clutter up my space. I actually just was taking pictures. But anyway, I keep everything here and my acrylics and my primers here. If you want me to do a review of everything that's in my drawer um, or in my nail room, leave that down, comment down below. Okay, so this is mainly about um, how to keep the air circulation going. I'm trying to, sorry if I'm talking fast, I have a client that's coming. But um, how to keep the air circulate, circulating in your nail room or area. Hopefully, you're in an area that has windows. I'm lucky where uh, I live, I have two windows, and the main thing that you will need is the fan. I use this box fan, and I put it in the window, and I turn it around so it does suck all the air out. Then, second of all, I have, you don't have to have all these fans, but this is the main one that you need. Um, second of all, I have a second, second fan, which is mainly just for me. Have it blow towards my face, keep the air, you know, nice and clean, and um, also, you know, you get hot. And also, you want to have this mask for when you're filing, you know, the dust, the particles. You don't want it later in life that's an infection, end up with bronchitis, you know, use your mask. Um, and then because it's summer, I have an extra fan over here, and that one is blowing, um, circulating around the room. And then the other thing that I do is I burn candles. They smell nice, and it helps keep the, you know, the odor down. The other option that you need to, um, that you want to do is when you're using the monomer, um, what you can do is, if you can remember to do it, it can be a pain, but, you know, um, you put your monomer in, dip your brush, do your acrylic. You know, put that back on and then go ahead and do your clients now. Then you go back in. I mean, it, it's up to you, but this is one option that you can have. And also, any paper towels or wipes that you use with the monomer on them, you want to discard them into a waste basket with a top on it or um, a plastic bag, tie it up, and take it on out the house. And those will keep the smells out of your the smell the odor out of your um, nail room so I hope these were helpful tents um, I have a whole video that I need to upload but I just want to show you guys that this right here is an awesome nail resin I fixed my shoe with it I fixed my dress and I've had these stones on my hands and they have not come off. Not one, not one. I mean, you know, usually you have some fallout, not one. Only thing that's missing is the stone that's in actually that was actually inside um the actual metal piece. But other than that, the stones that I put on my nails, they're all this is this is awesome glue. I got this from Premier Nail Source and you get two. They're the they're BOGOs. You get two for the price of one. Okay. And then I also went conjunction with that, I use they're fast setting spray. I had this for a while. I'm going to have to order some more. This is an awesome product and inexpensive too. You spray this just a just teensy bit on the client's tip after you put the, not on the nail, not on the, um, the actual nail tip, but um, you put the glue on the nail tip and then you spray this on your client's fingernail and then you put the glue to the tip on and you let go and you're all set and done. You don't have to wait five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, a whole minute before you can move your hand. So um, I hope that this video was helpful to you, uh, to you guys on how I set up for my client and also how to keep the air circulating in your room. Like I said, if you wanna see some things that I haven't really showed you that you saw as I'm skimming my camera, go ahead and leave that comment down below. So, all right, everyone, have a blessed day. Smooches, take care, and God bless. Bye-bye.